The election of a socialist president for one of Catalonia's most important institutions has brought about new cracks among pro-independence parties. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. A socialist mayor will be at the helm of Barcelona's regional authority thanks to the votes of Junts per Catalunya, who rejected a deal with its Catalan government partners, Esquerra. The political exclusivity that pro-independence parties defended for years is now showing more and more cracks. El camí del diàleg és el que hem de transitar si volem tornar a tenir un horitzó compartit com a societat, sinó que és el que fem en política. Els partits polítics independentistes estan fent coses que són absolutament incoherents amb la idea de que puguin refer un consens per avançar cap a la independència. As the socialists stand firm in their no to a coalition government with Podemos, the anti-austerity party has promised full loyalty over Catalonia, despite having a more lenient approach and being in favour of allowing a referendum. Spain's surveillance of Catalan delegations abroad has made it to Westminster, where the chair of an all-party parliamentary group on Catalonia denounced that Spanish agents still reported on British politicians. Uh, it appears that members of this house, from the Conservative Party, the SNP and Plaid Cymru, have been subject to covert surveillance by agents of that government in respect of their activities as members of the APPG on Catalonia. Iberia's landing staff at Barcelona Airport have called for a strike for the weekend of July 27th and 28th, one of the busiest weekends for passengers going on summer holidays. Just like the kids at a play park, the Catalan National Museum of Art invites the public to become actors in the White Bouncy Castle by artist William Forsyth and in collaboration with the Grec Theatre Festival.